All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank God for everyone joining. I'm just talking away and we on mute. <laughs> yeah, you know, y'all know how we get started. I'm doing my little get started thing. And we're not, you know, we, we weren't even on, on mute. Or maybe it does sound like we were, were displaying through uh, oh. some kind of way. But nevertheless, anyway, mm -hmm. thank God for everyone joining. We're just giving everyone time to join in as always. Uh, we're getting started. It's about uh, three minutes after seven, giving everyone, everyone time to, to join in, to share. Um, I don't know if I need to call it a watch party anymore because Facebook decides what they will, when they will, and right. they call it something different. I don't even know if if that's possible now. That's been doing something weird lately, the watch party thing. So nevertheless, we just thank God for you being here with us. We're continuing in our series, our time in the word, our word Wednesday, what is God saying now series. And we've got a super Wednesday. I know super Sunday's coming up, but we've got a super Wednesday right now, uh, this evening, uh, that we're going to be sharing and doing a Super Wednesday recap of all the wonderful things that have been taking place today, uh, and so forth and so on. Thank God for Minister Stacy Dukes. I see you joining. God bless you. Um, amen. Brother, uh, Trusty Rodney Thompson, Sister Nikki, Gabby, and Grayson, God bless you all. Good to see you all. Amen. Uh, well, yep, I see you. God bless you. Good to see you. Amen. So we're just getting started, giving everyone some time to come on and join in. I think I left my water over here across the room. I'm going to get it. But come on in the house. Amen. amen. As we're getting ready to get started, uh, uh, we, we just thank God for everyone that's joining us tonight. Uh, it's Wednesday. It's February already. Uh, if you have not been, uh, you know, kind of plugged in with Church One Charlotte and some of the uh, word that God has been sharing about how he is hastening the day, how he is moving and speeding up time, uh, you know, I, I don't know, uh, you're, you're missing it, amen, because uh, I really believe he is, amen. It was just August, we were talking about what we were going to be doing by Thanksgiving time. And then Thanksgiving, we were talking about what we were going to be doing by Christmas. Here it is already uh, Black History Month. Amen. 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 We thank God for Black History Month and thank God for celebrating it 365 days a year. All the wonderful men and women and all the contributions that so many have made, uh, not just to, so to society, but the contributions that have been made with one hand, two hands, two legs tied behind your back. Come on, ain't no need to try to act like it's otherwise. No, sir, no, ma'am. Uh, so we thank God uh, for all those uh, that we are truly standing on the shoulders of. Want well, to thank God, Missionary Marion Williams and our birthday girl. Amen. God bless you. Yes. Junior Missionary Lydia Junior Williams. Williams. Happy birthday. Her birthday's tomorrow. Amen. Amen. So thank God for Sister Lydia. Amen. And happy birthday in advance. We'll be talking to you before then, but we're just saying happy birthday right now. Amen. Senior in high school, uh, getting ready to come on out of there. Amen. So we just thank God for uh, Sister Lydia. Amen. Amen. And Reverend Mary Williams, God bless you all. Uh, thank God for you all coming from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Amen. Amen. So thank God for them uh, joining us as always, not even just on Wednesdays, uh, but also throughout the week. You know, Lydia is a good, is a large part of our uh, Friday youth Zoom. Yeah. And um, Lydia's even taught that youth Zoom a, a time or two. Yeah. Um, so uh, we just thank God for uh, that, even on, on Sunday uh, afternoons when we get to see um, Lydia and her, her, her mom and dad also. So we just thank God for them. Amen. As you're joining us, as always, we're, we're giving everyone time to kind of join on in here. Uh, but as you're joining us, if this is your first time joining us, as always, give us a hello and a God bless you yeah. so that we can do it right back. I am very good at uh, interjecting in the middle of a statement <laughs> <laughs> and then pick it right back up. <laughs> we'll, we'll be giving we'll be giving a recipe out, you know, milks, egg, butter, cheese. God bless you, sister so-and-so, <laughs> milk, grits, whatever, you know, whatever else the, 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 the recipe is. So we just thank God. Um, you know, and, and take, don't take it lightly. It's always fun to get a shout out. Amen. Yeah. I don't know. You know, some of y'all have been saved your whole life. Y'all, y'all ain't never been to a go-go. Amen. Or y'all ain't never, e even if, even if, you know, you wasn't from the DMV and not really a part of that kind of scene, you know, you've been to shows, you know, 
whether it's the DJ or, or, or whoever was emceeing on the mic, you know you like to get a shout out, amen? Right. Amen, yeah, you know, when, you know, we make a big, you make a big point, whatever you can find to write on, you're going to put something up so they can see your name, amen, uh, to give you a shout out. Well, uh, all you got to do uh, with your brothers and sisters here is just say hello and God bless you so that we can give you a hello and a God bless you right back. Well, um, we thank God for Word Wednesday time, our Super Wednesday recap of what a wonderful day in ministry it's truly been. Uh, we uh, had the opportunity um, to hear none other uh, than missionary LaShonda Carter uh, at our Noonday Church One Global uh, weekly service. Amen? Amen. Amen. And it wasn't no, it wasn't no sinner's message. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I got jokes, you know, I ain't talking about that little five minute mess. Okay. Amen. Praise God. If you can preach a good message in five minutes, nothing wrong with that. But I'm talking about when you can't put it together, that means you ain't spent no time. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Amen. But it was a good message. Amen. A good message that we shared, not only with people uh, domestic, but people all around the world. I lost count of the nations uh, where we have, uh, for those that are not familiar, Church One Charlotte is a part of a global family of churches uh, that, that are hailed from Pakistan, from India, from Kenya, Tanzania, Mali, Rwanda. Um, uh, uh, um, well, well, which one I'm missing? Uganda, there we go, yeah. So, you know, uh, we, we, we're getting, we're getting, getting growing in, in Central Africa and growing and trying to go north and south, amen. But our brothers also, like I said, in India, our brothers in Pakistan, brothers and sisters in Pakistan, here in even the United States, amen. Oh, what a wonderful time it was as our international supervisor. See, I'm, I'm making up titles, amen. But, you know, y'all, y'all that are part of, you know, part of the Sanctified Church, you know who the international supervisor <laughs> is, you know, for different, different, um, uh, uh, reformations and church bodies, but uh, for those that don't know, Missionary Lashonda uh, Carter is the uh, director of the women's department for Church One Global. So she had a wonderful opportunity and time to share not only with the women, but the men. And that's something we're going to talk about tonight. Because see, you know, we like to do this thing sometime where it's like, okay, well, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, we're going to cover this. And yeah, you, you just go over there in the corner with the women and, uh, and y'all y'all talk about it. No, oh no, no, no. This was this was for the body as a whole. Amen. Uh, the passage of scripture in Galatians, the third and Galatians, the third chapter. Yes. But also Genesis, the third chapter or actually second, and, second and third chapter. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, she covered today talking about the word, the reason and the why. Uh, first lady, come on and talk a little bit about that, about what, what you covered today. And uh, we, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about that. Because, you know, when you're preaching, you don't get to really kind of break stuff out a lot of times unless you're about to go an hour and a half, amen. Uh, but nevertheless, like I said, here's an opportunity to talk a little more in depth about that. Come on and talk. Let's talk a little bit about that. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Carter. Um, yes, uh, we were talking about the word, the reason, and the why. Um, and we started out of Genesis because that's where God told me that we needed to start because sometimes, not sometimes, you have to start at the past in order to move forward. And so you have to know what your foundation is and how you're building it so that you don't rebuild it the way it was, um, especially when you're trying to do better and not worse. So uh, the word, the reason, and the why coming out of Galatians is talking about the helpmate of a woman. And understanding that even though Adam named us, God is the one that gave us our purpose. Oh my goodness, we got to okay. stop right there. Yeah, we got hold on, we got to pause right there. You know, if, if we was having sanctified church today and she was reading, I'd have to tell her to stop right there, you know, and, and she can read on in a minute, but we got to stop right there. Come on, somebody know about the reader in the church. Come on, y'all know how we used to do it. <laughs> ain't, there ain't nothing wrong with doing that now, amen. Right. But but here is something that's really important. Even though Adam was commissioned to name the creation, one thing 
He didn't make the creation and he didn't give the purpose. My goodness, that's something what, you got to make sure you write that down. Even though he gave Eve a name, he did not give her her purpose. Oh, that's about to mess with somebody right there. Amen. Or we can go to church right there. Come on, talk to me a little bit more about that because here is here is where where the, uh, the, the, the rubber meets the road here, okay? Because you've been named some stuff, all right? You have been called some names. But what, and I don't know about you, uh, but many uh, can testify and say, you know what, mom and daddy used to tell me, it's not what you call it, it's what you answer to, all yes, right? Yes, amen. Yes. God's trying to let you know today, amen, Absolutely. even though you might have been given a name. God's purpose is what matters more than that name. Because here's where man uh, will begin to do things. Man, we have been commissioned with naming things. So we good at categorizing yeah. stuff, you know? And you got to watch out that you don't fall in a category that somebody has named you uh, that's outside of the call that God has placed on your life. Lord, have mercy. Amen. I'm about to get excited right there. <laughs> Amen. Come on, talk to me some more here on this uh, as we're talking about this. Go go right in. And what we kind of talked about, um, what we did talk about initially is when we grew up, women, when we grew up in church and, and, and the things that were taught in children's church as well as Bible study, when they brought us back to Genesis too, when they started talking about the woman, uh, they normally talked about Eve um, ushering into sin. And so they didn't necessarily talk about the fact that she already had a purpose before she even sinned. And that's important to know because we are the descendants of Eve. And so as women, as we are helpmates, we have to understand that God gave us our purpose, okay? Adam only gave us the name. And understand this, Adam gave us the name woman first. He didn't give us the name Eve until after we left Eden. Watch out, watch out. Oh, my goodness. All right, come on. You got to pull your Bibles out now because uh, we're challenging you. We're, we're challenging you on the timeline. Yes, we are. You got to watch and check that out. Grab that passage in Genesis. Read through that. It's important to recognize these various areas uh, that this passage is sharing with us. Recognizing your purpose. Uh, and even, even as we recognize some of our modern day theologians, I'll call them. We thank God for, for, for Bishop Frederick Douglass. Amen. Amen. I believe he was the one that put in the phrase that uh, if you don't know your past, you're bound to repeat it. Uh, or that, or that you're, you're bound uh, to, to, to not have a future, you know? So uh, we thank God. Thank God. Hey, and Layla, God bless you, Layla. Thank you for some water. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Layla and Kayla, we got our... We got, we got our armor bearers in the house tonight, y'all. Amen. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're using modern technology. I had to, I had to text me some water here, y'all. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but what, what we're looking at here is if you don't know your past, you're bound to repeat it. Uh, if it's an area in which of challenge. But it's important to know your past, especially in reference to what God has commissioned us to do. You need to know who God says you are so that you can walk in it. So you can be bound to repeat the good things and the promises that God has given and has already commanded. He has a commanded blessing over you, uh, my sister. He has a commanded blessing over you, brother. Even as we run in to uh, the shortfalls uh, that daily distraction may bring our way. Now, come on, you got to talk to us a little bit about this because you got into, after kind of setting the stage uh, with the word, you talked about this reason, uh, the reason why uh, we in many instances might be facing lack, facing the inability to walk out the very purpose God has placed in us. What was that? Talk to me about that. Is definitely uh, a sin, you know. Um, sin uh, distracts us, and sin also disconnects us from God. Oh my goodness! This oh, I thought I thought we was gonna just have a a nice little talk today, and then you don't went to sanctified church where you talking about sin up in here. Oh my good, no, no, I, I'm sorry, y'all. You know, don't don't log out. You know, we we in this cooled out age where we don't talk about sin no more. Uh uh no. So I know I know that unfazed out all the week all the week links already. Amen. Oh uh, no. God bless you, Pastor Larry Brown, Church One Richmond. Good to see you, sir. Amen. So uh, Pastor Larry Brown, he can help me out. I think he might be able to pray us back in. Amen. Doing that because Pastor Larry Brown, he'll call some sin out 
in the church, right in the service, won't he? No, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you, preacher. But no, but no, what I'm getting at is that here is what has become, uh, we've gotten spooky when it comes to sin, you know? Right. And what we need to realize is that uh, let's, let's, let's set definition in place. Uh, if you need to understand what sin is, sin is purely this going opposite of God's plan for your life. You don't have to try to get your big eyes and your little U's and, oh, well, this, this ain't really that bad. No, no. Look, look at sin in just this way. If it's outside or opposite of God's will for your life, therein lies the definition of sin that you need right there. Why is that important? Because it makes it fully understandable that if God's plan, if God's directions are here, and we're going a different way, we can't expect God's promises. Right. Amen. Just like if you have, we use this example all the time. If you got a GPS that knows better than you, you got a GPS that has either data downloaded into it, or it has a connection that keeps it aware of its position on the planet. It's in a better position to tell us where to go. But if we have a desire to go against the GPS, it will continue to try to recalculate and reroute. Uh, but bottom line is, is it's going to take you longer to get where you're trying to go if we're consistently trying to go against the GPS. It's going to even get us to a point where we may not be able to get back based on the route that the GPS was trying to give us. God's trying to share with us through his word. I have a connection that you might not have. I have instructions downloaded. This is what God is trying to let you know. I've given men and women of God instructions to share with you. Uh, I've even put in my word basic instructions before leaving earth. Uh, but if we constantly go against it, we're going to find ourselves having a hard time uh, reaching the very promises of God. It's going to be bang banging your head up against it. Why does it keep seeming like every time I get ahead a little bit, I fall five steps right. back with one step forward. Right. Why does it seem like all these promises people talking about, I'm not experiencing it. Well, you got to check yourself and check your spiritual GPS. Is that thing rerouting? Have you have you caused that thing to reroute so much it's burned the battery out? Oh, uh, well, you gotta act, you gotta get real with this thing, amen. Am I going opposite of the direction God is trying to get me in? Amen. amen. So as we're talking about the reason, the reason is sin. The reason why we're not getting to the direction or getting to the end goal of the purpose that God has put in us is because we're going opposite of the instruction and direction that God has given us. Here, you talked about this some more. You talked about it where it was interesting because you started sharing in Genesis. This third chapter of Genesis now, I believe, right? Third chapter of Genesis, grab that. I want you to check the, that whole chapter of Genesis. Five through 17, is it? Amen. But it's going to be good to read that whole chapter. Amen. Why? Because you will begin to see something happening here. You will begin to see man to be operating outside of the call that God has placed on them. And then they're spending a whole lot of time doing stuff that is away from the God's plan. Uh, so now there's, you'll see him spinning your wits. Talk to us about that. There were, there were three good examples there, I believe. What were those examples that, that, that you had there in reference to that? It was, it was, um, it was hiding. They had made aprons, uh -huh. um, because they had found and their eyes were open that they were naked before they did not know because they had not eaten from the tree of knowledge. And so they, they made the aprons. After they made the aprons, they hid in the tree of Eden. And then when it was time for them to answer God. My goodness on what they had done. Uh-huh. Adam blamed Eve. My goodness. Okay. Adam blamed Eve the same gift that he had gotten from God and declared he, it. And declared it. Yes. All right, all right, my 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 miracle testimony people. All right, come on, we're going to challenge you tonight. Come on, it was a blessing. It was a miracle 6 months ago. It was a miracle 5 years ago. Now all of a sudden that there is some accountability that needs to be taking place. Some stewardship. Uh-oh, watch out. Oh my goodness. See, see missionary, you don't you don't preach them up today. And I'm telling y'all if if y'all haven't, I'll try to post the link 
Uh, but it was a wonderful, wonderful time in service. Uh, we had Pastor Tiffany Ann Chin doing praise and worship. We had the saints from Pakistan praying. Amen. God bless you, Bishop Karamat Masi and Lady Masi. God bless you. Amen. You know, and, and we had a uh, uh, Bishop Kenny Oldham, Amen, and his wife closing us in uh, in benediction. Uh, but when we had so many that that chimed in today, but the message was so powerful. And the bottom line is, is where, when we start taking accountability and taking uh, inventory, uh, God is trying to let us know. All right, now come on. Uh, you said it was a miracle. You said it was it was wonderful. Uh, you know when when you got it, amen. But when some stewardship time has to be put in, now all of a sudden, God, this woman you gave me. God, this car that you gave me, you know, uh, when, if you be honest with you, you better watch out because some stuff God is saying, look, I ain't have nothing to do with that. Right. Okay. You went and did something out of um, impatience and now in a, in a position that probably is not the promises of God. And we want to blame God now. Okay. Come on now. Come on. No, no, no. We can't go opposite of God's plan. Right. We got to follow his plan. Amen. Amen. So, so this is interesting. Because why? Because when you begin to break this thing down, missionary, like you did, uh, it becomes, I believe, we get understanding. Because it's, it's one thing to be like, you know, God ain't happy because of <laughs> sin. Huh, yeah, you got to, if you sinning, God ain't happy with you. You know, uh, that's, one, that's one thing. But okay, come on, let's talk about this thing. And let's see the, the repercussions. Right. When distraction came about, the very calls that God had given man and woman get dropped and put to the side. They had been commissioned to watch and tend the garden. But when they got distracted, amen, what happened? They began wasting time sewing aprons. They began wasting time hiding in the garden rather than keeping the garden. They, spent, they started wasting time hiding from God rather than having sweet communion with him. They wasted time blaming one another. And even while Adam was blaming, amen, not taking his rightful role, uh, God had made him first. If we want to talk, come on, men. Come on, deadbeats. Come on, folk. Then I'm working on me, crap talk. No, you ain't working on you. You making excuses and you trying to blame somebody else instead of taking authority over the situation you in. I'm messing with y'all brothers tonight, amen? If your kids don't live with you, I'm talking to you. Yes, I am. Uh, if you're not making ample effort, I'm talking to you. Yes, I am. If you're making excuses rather than making solutions, I'm talking to you, amen? What are we talking about? Adam began to make excuses when God came to him first. He said, what are you doing? Now he starts making excuses. So he's out of order. And because he won't give a true answer, now God has to come to Eve and say, what are y'all doing? Now she's having to stand up and take a role that she might not have been called to take. Amen. Doesn't mean you're not strong, woman. Doesn't mean that you don't have a power and authority. Yes, you do. But what we're looking at is when sin gets in the way, when these distractions come about, you got to realize something. Everything's going to be out of order. When you're out of order, you ain't going to have no good job. You're not going to have no good, good stuff going on over here. No, ministry ain't going to be popping. No, your family ain't going to be. No, no. When you're out of order, everything's going to be out of order. Why? Because if we go against the very instruction of God, we can't be expecting to get to the destination that he has for us. We're operating in absolute opposite. Come on, so now, come on, that ought to hit home, doesn't it? Uh, that's not just talking old school sin. Uh, sin is, not, no, if you break that thing down, when I'm letting anything distract me from the call that God has given me, when I'm letting anything distract me from the very instruction that God has given me, here is what's going to happen. We're going to start, you know, uh, confusing motion with action. Amen. We're going to start confusing uh, uh, what God wants us to do with a whole bunch of stuff we making up to do. My goodness. Who is that? Uh, Minister Lexi. God bless you, Minister Lexi. Good to see you. God bless you, Mother Mimi. Amen. And the Kirkpatrick family. God bless you all. Good to see you. So what? A, this is what we're getting at. Here is where the rubber meets the road. The reason in this passage that we're covering that, that missionary covered so powerfully today 
the reason why we're not fulfilling the very full potential that God has spoken into us. And even as women, as mighty women of God, the purpose that God has spoken into you, the reason why it's not being fulfilled is sin. All right, come on, talk to me. Talk to me some more now. We went from the reason to the why. All right, what, <laughs> what, what happened there? You know, come on, talk, talk to me a little more about that. From the reason to the why. Um, from there, you know, God handed down even the consequences, you know. Um, and as the consequences were held down, was handed down, Eve still did not lose her purpose. Her purpose is still intact. It has not gone anywhere because that's who, who created her, amen, who created her already had a plan for her. So it didn't matter what the sin was. The problem was it was still sin. It doesn't matter how it happened. It was still sin. The problem was, is her not understanding and Adam not understanding that she still had purpose. Now, here is uh, the, 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 the conversation and the encouragement to be shared uh, continuously uh, throughout tonight and as we move forward. God is calling us to focus on the why. You, beloved, might be thinking the why is what's happened to you. That's the what. That's not the why. Uh, you might be realizing you're in a position where you're saying, because of this, uh, because of this and that, uh, the, 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 the various what's. Uh, that we can bring up, you know what? Because I didn't have this opportunity. That's why, no, no, you're talking about what? Uh, when we start talking and recognizing the why, uh, the, the word, the reason, and the why, why we have to turn from the very sin that is keeping us from the purpose. Why? Because God still has a purpose for you, sister. God still has a purpose for you, man. Yes. Uh, even in this passage, as, as missionary was ministering to the women, it goes for all. Yes. But for those that are being beaten down, those that are being put in a position, God bless you, brother, big brother, Steve Vini. God bless you, man. Good to see you. While, while we're talking about uh, whoever has placed some names on you, all right, uh, you, you have begun to identify by those names. Uh, rather than identify by the purpose that God has put into you. Uh, you have allowed uh, emotions to start happening rather than action. You're in the garden sewing uh, aprons rather than seeking after the purpose that God had already put in you. Mm -hmm. You're busy hiding from God. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to talk about that, bro. Yeah, nah, man, we're not going there. That's hiding, amen? Uh, uh, you're busy uh, blaming one another. What, what are one of the fastest ways the enemy divides and conquers is when challenges come our way, he causes us to fight among one another. Brothers, there have been marvelous, massive uh, undertakings that uh, our brothers have put together. But you let somebody get in the midst and start blaming folk, they'll tear it all up. You need to watch, you need to read your history about the Black Panther Party. Yes, you do. Amen. That thing got torn up. Why? Because people started blaming one another. Amen. They lost focus and they started, people started infiltrating and being that discord and that deceiver, just like the serpent. Oh, I'm messing with somebody today. Portia Smith, God bless you. Good to see you. So what we got to realize here, the art of war says you need to know your adversary. The enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy, but the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. Somebody pull that up, put that in the comments as part of our Bible study tonight. Amen. The thief cometh. That's how you can find it. Google that real quick uh, and put it in the comments so you can look like a big time theologian, you know, found it fast. Amen. No, but what we're saying is, is that we got to understand what the enemy is doing. He's trying to keep us distracted. He's trying to keep us wasting time doing stuff that doesn't amount to anything. Adam and Eve, I guarantee you, by the time God came to see about them, they had them a whole clothing store full of aprons that they had made. Wasting time doing something that had absolutely nothing to do with God's call for their life. And then as God began to hold them accountable, they began to not only you know, uh, uh, hide and try to get away from it. But then they began to try to blame one another. Yeah. Hiding 
from an all points bulletin that's out after me doesn't make it go away. Hiding from uh, challenges that we're facing. And here's what we like to do now. See, we like to be passive aggressive with this stuff to try to act like we're doing something. No, you Facebook boxing is, is not, it, it, that's hiding, okay? Uh, you know, that's, that's, not, that's not getting to the root of the, pro of the problem. No, no, that's hiding, amen? Uh, no, so that you're, you're in the garden right now. As God is calling us, we're in the garden hiding, posting about what, what we upset about, amen? While, while God is calling us, we're busy busying ourselves with something that amounts to nothing, that won't last. Scripture says this, it says that the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word will last, amen? All right, come on now, what do we, you know, those, those aprons were made out of grass, leaves, and, 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 and when you get fancy with it, you put a little flower on it, on the lapel or something, praise his name. Uh, yeah. But no, what are we wasting time doing that has nothing to do with the purpose that God has put in us? Amen. We got to recognize that because as we recognize it, we have to stand up and say, you know what? I got to stand up and take my rightful call. You know what? Uh, I, I got to, I, I, I have to take accountability for that one. Cause here's what's interesting. When we take accountability, when we take responsibility, the conversation is over. Mm. Then the conversation begins on what to do next. Amen. You know, if you've ever noticed, you know, a detective doesn't keep researching uh, a case that someone has admitted to and they verified that they're the one that did it. Huh? Why? Because they have taken responsibility. Now, the detective work is over. Yeah. Now it's time for what's next. Now, as we're talking about the why, why we have to recognize how sin is pulling us away. Why we have to recognize the very purpose that God put in us from the beginning. Sister, the, the very purpose that God put in you from the beginning. You've got to, this is why you have to remember that because God still needs your help. Amen. Many, and, and sister, I want you to talk about this because you brought this out real good too. We have a false narrative on what help means. Talk about that for a minute. So help in the state that we're talking about the women in this particular passage is what God gave me is helping eternally loving people. Let me say that again, help, helping eternally loving people. And that is just exactly what God has asked us to do. And that's for all mankind, all mankind. And so it's necessary for us to understand that that's what God wants us to do. The greatest of these is love. Did he not say that? So again, helping eternally loving people. We are the helpmate. My goodness. And as God has, uh, has, has, has declared this over you, sister, as God has declared this, uh, the enemy is constantly trying to make a new definition. Somehow uh, the thought is that somehow uh, to be a help makes you some type of second-class servant mm -hmm. that makes you some kind of, you know, uh, uh, come hither to type person. No, no. When you realize uh, the very commission that God has given uh, you, sister, you have to realize that it's put you in a position to, to, to be uh, ready to receive and ready to give. Bible says, as you give, it shall be given. You are already setting yourself up to be in line with the very promises of God. Because as you give, you can't, you can't continue to give without receiving. As you receive, you give. You are being the meat to bring this together. It can't come together without you. That's why even the, this, various, this very account in, in Genesis can't even come to pass without the meat, amen? Uh, so as we're, as we're sharing today, uh, as we're talking about this, as we cover this, God has given you a purpose. Galatians, the third chapter. I'm in the book, aren't I? Is that, is that, that here is the, one, the one that you closed out with Galatians? The third chapter says, understand this, 28th verse, I believe, right? Yes. That there's no Jew or Greek. There's no bond or free. 
There's no male or female, but we're one in the spirit. Amen. Amen. Grab that passage. Amen. Because somebody has been living beneath their calling. That's it. Sister, some, you, you've been living uh, in, in some outhouse of a calling. God bless you. Reverend Johnny Sellers, good to see you, bro. You've been living in a second class state, but God is trying to get you to realize the very reason and the why. He wants you to grab hold of his word. He wants to see, wants you to see the very purpose he has declared in your life. Man can give you a name, but only God can give you a purpose. Lord have mercy. Amen, amen. Uh, who's amen. been naming you? Amen. amen. Uh, and who, what names have you been responding to? Uh -huh. Okay. So we've got to ask ourselves that today. Uh, no matter what name we've been given and what name you've been given, sister, you've got to understand that God has given you a purpose. Amen. Your purpose is your identity, not your name. Uh-huh. That's why uh, when even uh, somebody uh, has to try to uh, gather um, who you are or verify who you are, your name is not enough. Come on right, here. So, right, oh, my yes. goodness, that's good right there. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let me see you try to uh, get a loan on your name alone. Uh-huh. Right, right, right. uh, no, 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 no. They need some other stuff to bona fide who you are. Right, you right. can even call in somewhere and say, hey, uh, you know, uh, my name is uh, Ronald McDonald. They're going to say, all right, Mr. McDonald. <laughs> First, I need to know your last four digits of your social security number. I need to know your current address. Uh, and if they get real fancy, uh, they'll be able to pinpoint some other things that they know about you, uh, that they need you to verify. Right. What are they trying to say? I need to know if this is really who you say you are. Amen. God is telling us today, beloved, uh, the purpose I've given you is greater than your name. Amen. It's the very oil. It's the very firm foundation uh, that God is putting in you that is going to carry you where he desires you to go. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Your purpose is going to cause you to sow. Amen. 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 So we thank God. Uh, and it's going to cause you to sow in good ground. Mm -hmm. A name can cause you to sow amiss. It can cause you to sow into bad ground. Because here's what's interesting. It was never a case that Adam and Eve weren't busy. Right. You'll never find where it said they weren't busy. The question is, is what they were busy doing. Uh, as we operate in our purpose, we are going to realize uh, where we need to be busy. Yeah. Don't allow the enemy to waste another second. We need to declare that today. I'm not letting the enemy waste another second of my day, week, month, year, life. Amen. The serpent came. Yes. He was only effective because he was given time. That's it. That's it. If we allow the enemy time, we are opening ourselves up Amen. to operate by a name, not by a purpose. What's getting our attention today? What's feeding into our spirit? What's taking partial truth and mixing it with that which is not from God and not from the purpose that God has given you, uh, my sister and even my brother? Amen. Whatever it is, we've got to identify it and realize I'm giving time to something that is going to move me from the purpose that God has for my life. Amen. There is the why. When we focus on the what, we are giving time to the very thing that's distracting us. I can't believe that they did this to me. I can't believe that I'm in the state that I'm in. I can't believe this is, you know, I, I'm not going to. When we do that. You can count the hours that you have spent stewing over the past rather than recalling and reclaiming the purpose. Amen. The past and the purpose are two different things. Yes. The blessings of the Lord make it you rich and add no sorrow. Somebody need to find that and put that in the comments also. <laughs> this is word to meditate on. So as God is giving us purpose in his word, 
He's allowing us to recognize reasons where we may have fallen short yes. and realize why we've got to make all haste to move toward his purpose Amen. for our lives. Amen? Amen. We thank God for you tonight. We want to share with somebody. Somebody is hitting their head up against a wall. Yes. Somebody's constantly in a circle. Here we are, February 2021. Every day that goes by, there's something going on reminding you of the state that you're still in. Uh, maybe bringing back to remembrance an a, a, a area or a pain point that the enemy would desire to use to distract you. Somebody it doesn't even quite understand where the starting block is. The Bible says if you would confess with your mouth, and believe in your heart that Christ died for your sin, you shall be saved. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. As missionaries shared this word today, it's important to realize that as we call on God, we can't help but get plugged into our very purpose. Yeah, you on 1%. Your battery's on 1%. But you make it in the house just in time to plug in. Amen. I want you to know God wants you to plug in. Amen. The cares of this world are draining you. Amen. Somebody that already knows Christ as their savior, but has allowed the cares of this world to drain them. You're getting in the house just in time to plug in. You're getting back to your car just in time to plug in. Amen. The very power that God wants to give you is in the purpose that he has already spoken over you. Yes, yes. The very power that he wants to give you is the ability to focus on his word, not on life's challenges. You're going to put the word on life's challenges. As you understand, the scriptures say, thy word, O Lord, is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. We don't have to no longer stumble in the dark. When not only is the word a light, but it becomes light in us. Yes. Let your light so shine, the Bible says, that men might see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. That's purpose-driven living right there. Mm -hmm. That's not circumstance-driven living. Uh, you talk to somebody living by circumstance, they're going to have a laundry list of all the things that somebody's done wrong to them. Yes. A laundry list of all the reasons why they can't do better. A laundry list of all the reasons why things aren't going their way. Amen. But the purpose-driven individual is saying, I know that God, you call me victory. Right. I know that the joy of the Lord is my strength. So I'm gaining strength from the joy of the Lord Hallelujah. rather than being drained by the cares of this world. Amen. My goodness today. As you focus on the cares of this world, doesn't mean you're, you're, you're removed from reality, but it means that you understand your enemy. Right. You understand what you're giving your time to. Right. And even as you're focusing on something, you focus on it to solve it so you can move on. Yes, yes, yes. Only the enemy wants you to stew over the circumstances. Amen. We're encouraging your spirit today. Yes. Hallelujah. We're praying and we're believing. Here is how the prayer of faith takes place tonight. Amen. Bible says that if you pray the prayer of faith, bodies will be healed yes, yes, and yes. raised up Amen. and sin will be forgiven. Amen. Somebody needs to forgive their self. Yes, hallelujah. God's already forgiven. Yes. If you ask, it shall be given. Yes. Seek and you will find. Knock. Knock and the door will be open. Hallelujah. God, we're asking for your forgiveness right now. We're praying even right now. God bless you, Sister Andrea, Lady Andrea Robinson, and, and Elder Robinson. God bless you. Good to see you. Amen. We're praying tonight that God, the cares of this world that have distracted us, we're focusing on you now. We're focusing on you who has given us purpose. God, we're praying right now. Somebody that's stuck. God, get them unstuck. Cause them to focus on you. God calls us not to be creating new ways to stay stuck, 
even putting you, trying to mix a little you in staying stuck. But God, you come that we might have life and life more abundantly. Abundant living God uh, can't cause us to stay stuck. We got to break out. God, save right now. Somebody that doesn't know you, save them. Cause them to recognize they need you. Holy Spirit, operate. Holy Spirit, prick hearts even right now. Your word has told us, God, that we can't even come to a realization that we need you without the aid of the Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit, touch those so that we can truly see a standard that we don't meet up to yes. and that we need you to be able to even move toward it. Save right now, God. God, we're praying tonight and we're thanking you right now that you have told us if we would just ask, you would, pro you would provide. God, we thank you for your word tonight. You've told us in your word, where two or three are gathered together, you're in the midst. But also as we touch and agree according to your will, as we pray, it shall be done. We are in agreement tonight that your will be done for everyone uh, in service tonight. Somebody need to say amen in the comments right there. You need to declare it openly that yes, I am in agreement that God's will is going to be done tonight in my life. Amen. We thank God for you. Uh, I'm going to ask missionary to close us in prayer to give us final words and to close us in prayer. But I want you to know tonight, sister, I want you to know tonight, brother, the standard that God has given us is here to help, not to hinder. Just like that workout is hurting a little bit because you're getting those muscles to work, but the benefit outweighs any of the challenge. And it's a challenge to make you better, not better. Only when we focus on our, on our challenges do we become bitter and don't move any further. We're thanking God right now and we're declaring it. Deliverance in Christ's name. We're thanking God right now that we're moving forward and that we're only considering the past to remember the very purpose that God has spoken into our life. Missionary, come on, close us out tonight. Amen, amen. What a word, what a word, what a time of sharing and a time of impartation. We thank you right now for all those who have joined with us. And we ask and we pray that, um, that it has blessed your life and that you understand that you have purpose. If you've been in a stuck mode, just understand that you have purpose. And God is saying, get up and walk in your purpose. And so... Uh, just, just what a blessing, Pastor. Thank Amen. You so Amen. Much. No, thank you. So thank you. Thank you. If, if y'all, if y'all need, I'm going to try to post it. You know, it's a Zoom. It's a Zoom link. They, they keep it only available, but for so long. Right. So the bottom line is, is uh, if I'm able to get it moved, I will. But the bottom line is, we're going to post that message from today. I want you to hear missionaries share that message today, uh, because God. Uh, has truly uh, blessed. Amen. God truly used her. We thank God for it. Uh, missionary, go ahead. Like I said, go ahead and close yeah. this out. Anybody else? Did we did we miss anybody tonight? Yeah, Amen. Praise anybody. God. <laughs> Praise God uh, for all those that have joined. If we're missing anybody behind, I know Mother Terry Little is there. I know Sister Lanice and Mom and Pop Bennett. Uh, Lauren and Zaria are there. I know Bishop Alford and Choku. Uh, God bless you. Uh, uh, all those that have maybe joined us that we might not be able to see, we kind of keep, we got different screens up here sometimes. It doesn't show <laughs> all of the, um, all of the um, people joining or what have you. Right, right, but right. we thank God for you. And we say continue uh, to move toward God's purpose in your life. Come on, go ahead and close us out. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, for this time, Lord God, this time in your word, Lord God, this time of revelation knowledge, Lord God. Not only do we hear it, Lord God, but we're going to be doers of it, Lord God. We thank you for everybody that has joined, Lord God, and we know, Lord God, that it's going to become greater, Lord God. More people will join, more people will understand, and we ask that those who were here will share it, share the word, share the word to those who you know that need it, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you right now for Pastor Charles Carter. We thank you right now for this ministry. We thank you right now for Church One. But more importantly, we thank you for letting us know, Lord God, that you have given us purpose, Lord God. We thank you and we praise you and we honor you and glorify your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for you. 
We thank God for all of our brothers and sisters at the University Place Nursing and Rehabilitation yes. Center. God bless you. We're looking to see you real soon as the Lord allows. Amen. We're thanking God for all of those that are joining and all those that are becoming a part. If you have a desire to give, give. You can cash app give. Amen. Why? Because the work of the Lord is continuing to move forward. If you have a desire to join, yes. amen, we can receive you. It doesn't matter where you are, because no. to be honest with you, we're all in the same place right, right. now at home. Come right. on here, somebody. Amen. Amen. All right. So you can join. Why is that important? Because it's imperative to not let the enemy get you alone, Amen. to get you backed in a corner, Amen. to get you where he might even have you right now, yes. uh, cornered where you're giving him more time than we than you should. Yes. No, Bible says it's imperative that we come together, that we might be able to come together to promote good works. Amen. Yes. To, to encourage one another. God's got great things for you. Yes, he does. God's got more uh, in store than we even realize. Bible says eyes have not seen ears have not heard, neither has it even entered into the heart of man, what God truly has prepared for his children. So yes. we, we understand this, that, that we want to uh, grab hold of that because God's word, his plan is greater than yes. anything we can ever come up with yes. in our minds. Yes. God bless you. Bless Jesus you. is Lord. We'll see you. Real soon, join us Friday, young people. The Zoom link will be on our uh, Facebook page. Join us Sunday morning, a uh, Sunday afternoon at 1230. Yeah. Amen. And we thank God even for all those that are joining and even thank God for all those, the ministry that's going forth. Yeah. God bless you. Um, Pastor Tish, Letitia Barnhart, yes. we're getting Church One Canapolis yes. started. Yes. Amen. We Woo! join us on Saturday for that. Amen. Yes, Look out, we'll be posting that stuff. Amen. Yes, uh, I told I told Pastor she needed to let me come raise an offering. There. Amen. Lord, Lord, <laughs> Lord help. Lord have <laughs> mercy. Nah, no, no, that that ain't my calling. Amen. No, I no. won't even. Yeah, I ain't gonna even lie there. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Folk, folk will keep their money if I start declaring. <laughs> No, but amen, but amen, amen, check in, amen, because it's going to be a, a wonderful new ministry that's starting, and we just thank God for it, amen. amen. God bless you, even for Church One Richmond, amen, that's coming. Pastor Larry Brown, it's coming, amen, yes, so we amen. thank God for that. We thank God for even the services that will be taking place virtually uh, very soon, so we just praise God for you all. God bless you. For First lady, did you have any other words before we wrap up? Love you all. Love you all. God Be bless good. you. We'll see you next time. Have a blessed one.